Okay, so after the introduction, now we come back to the installation. Uh, installation, we have some requirement, and uh, actually, uh, you can we can say that is uh, SOP, yes, yeah. St standard operation, standard of uh, operation procedure, and um, similar like the hematology, there are some many many things to check not only environment but also the machine itself and the box and the tools right so here come okay let's keep going keep on uh, so what to do before unpacking uh, as we know there are two box so when you receive the one unit from machine from DMI you will find the two box two, pa two packages one is wooden box and one is cart carton box and uh, the manual unit is in the wooden box and accessories uh, is in the carton box next uh, uh, we check the cartons and the packages firstly check the if the quanti uh, quantity is good the quantity is right two box right second uh, check uh, without uh, inversion or deformation what means inversion do you know it? do you know it okay okay uh, n never mind second third check without mark of wet water Deformation means uh, <coughs> deformation is for something like the box is broken. For example, the wooden box is broken, or the shape out of shape, uh, and uh, some and also just uh, something maybe there's a hole, there's a hole inside the box or wooden, and that means this uh, our product. That means the box, the boxes. Uh, were treated badly or were tra transported badly so what to do? do you know what to do? once this happened? Mm. uh huh then next inform the for forwarder right? Mm. Yeah. yeah that's right if this, if we have insurance, if we have if the these goods are transported under insurance, so we can ask him for the uh, payment from them. Yeah. And uh, next, uh, uh, that is the without the chest of heat. Uh, you got it right. Not heated, yeah, not heated, and uh, without uh, signs signs of being opened. I, I, we cannot repack it. Yeah, repack it. Yeah. So make it a uh, new. This is new. Here, there's uh, here one thing here. Yeah, there's one label here. Uh, do Do you know what it is? Yeah. Yes. Uh, the arrow mark shows that. Uh huh. For what purpose? Yeah, this is the evidence. Evidence. So we make sure the evidence is green. Otherwise, it's if it's red, we can refuse to open it. Mm. Yeah, and uh, we have we we of course we will take photo and ask him for the payment from the the forwarder. Yeah, if we have insurance. Mm. Yeah. So remember, this is very important and uh, please check this label uh, this is uh, we call it a uh, tiered watch tiered watch yeah. uh, next uh, 
before installation, uh, we have some requirement. So what are they? Make sure the environment, the room, is free of dust, uh, corrosive, and um, and also free of the co corrosive and flammable flammable gas. That is so dangerous. Yeah. And avoid direct sun sunlight and uh, where ventilated. Avoid the wind from air condition, away from the radiologic uh, and elevator, brush type motor, and uh, high frequency power uh, apparatus. Yeah. Why? Why we have to avoid this? Because uh, it will affect the result. You know. So so yes. Some noisy. Some noisy will. Applied uh, on on the result, but we don't know. Maybe the QC never never stable or whatever. Yeah, background is never good, or maybe in some some something happened because this machine is very preset, very preset machine, yeah, very expensive machine, and the bearing the bearing ground and the table must be level. Even without a mechanical vibration, stable should be very strong and stable and uh, even. Okay, so this is the requirement. Next uh, is for uh, some environment temperature from 10 to 30 degree. Okay, power supply as we mentioned from 100 to 240 and uh, frequency is 50 to 60. Uh, relative humidity are uh, from uh, thirty percent to eighty five percent and the atmospheric pressure eighty six kilo pa to one hundred and six kilo pa. So if the power is not stable, the voltage is not stable and frequency is not stable, um we have to use this UPS. Okay. Ma maximum um, the best one is more than one thousand kilowatt uh, not only we have the requirement for the power we also have the requirements for the for the room and the space so the the best design of the uh, of how we install this machine is like this this is a machine yeah. this is an analyzer unit and the op operating unit that means we can call it uh, the PC, yeah. And this is the PC. Yeah. So you can see this is the the lens, okay, eight hundred eight hundred fifty five, and this is the widest widest is uh, six hundred twenty microliter. So remember, we still have to le left. Uh, uh, you can see this is uh, fifty fi five hundred. Uh, micrometers uh, the space do you know why we have this space for what you are right yeah very good and uh, and uh, do you know why we must uh, put the operating unit close to the analyzer unit why for what purpose You are right. And also, mm. and also, when we are loading the samples or uh, the reagent, we can if it is nearby, then we can check the position. Great, great, yeah. So three thousand micrometer less or less. Remember, or less. Yeah. And also the t the waste outlet uh, should be. Close, close to the analyzer. You got it right. And this is the minimum. Yeah. So, so you can see the tu the maximum tube is five meter. Yeah, that is five meter. The less is better. Less is better. And uh, some hospital they must collect collecting the waste outlet. 
some node, some node, some some hospital they just uh, connected this tube to the drainage tube directly. Yeah. That is also possible, but remember they have to they have to bypass the sensor sensor, you know. Yeah. There is a waste we also have a waste uh, sensor, but we have to bypass it. Yeah. Uh this is the PC requirement. Uh, very similar to our hematology generalizer. Yeah. Such a uh, especially for DH seventy six. And we also is similar. We use the this CPU over two point two point zero uh giba giba hertz yeah. and uh, memory four point zero giba uh giba bit bit yeah giba bit and uh, also we use the cable the cable is special cable remember not uh, lane cable this is RS232 uh, ser uh, serial port interface that cable is a special cable different with the hematology generator right so next next uh, when we receive the machine uh, when we open the box uh we have to remove the tapes uh, you can see the tapes here remove it yeah remove the tapes uh then the protectors this is the some uh, some uh some mat some mats to hold the position to hold the position of the mixer hold the hold the sample prop yeah hold the sample system yeah and uh, so we have to we have to uh, hold the position right here yeah. so so this is the opening and the remove this one and uh, also and uh, also also check if they are if the needle is like this check if it is bent uh, remember the if we, if the if the prop sorry if the prop is bent we have to replace it uh, remember but expensive this is expensive uh, very expensive mm. uh next uh, is clean the uh, cuvettes uh, cuvettes and uh, clean and uh, no crushed do you know why must uh, no Scratch, scratch, why? Yeah, very terrible scratch. The result never stable. So when we when we take the cuvet, do you remember? Do you know the finger? Look at the finger. It's not at the bottom, but at our top. Okay, so uh, insert nanset of cuvettes into the into the reaction disk. Do not here. You, here is here we the nodes. Do not touch the surface of the cuvettes. We are taking the cuvettes. Do not touch here. Yeah. And the wash station. Actually, DMI provides two types of wash station and uh, to wash your. One wash station to wash what to wash the prop and the mixer. Second kind of dilute second uh, second uh, the second uh, solution is wash concentrate to wash the cuvettes. Cuvettes, yeah. So they are different. There are two kinds of uh, solutions. Next, uh, this is the wash station. Uh, put uh, please put uh, take out a uh, uh, region butter. This is a uh, region butter. Six. The volume, the capacity is sixty microliter for long for long the uh, accessory box. So you can see in our accessory box box you will find this butter for what? For for washing. Yeah. For take some we will take some uh, wash uh, wash uh, solution and uh, put. Put it here. Install it here, and uh, fill fill it in with the wash dilution, and uh, put it into the below position here. Yeah. But we have another wash concentrate that is for wash cuvette. So where to put it? Uh, we can uh, 
But remember, this machine should be with auto washing system, right? If no auto washing system, le there's there's no <laughs> there's no uh, this uh, water, and uh, you, we have to wash manually. <laughs> that is not mm. right, right, right. So the best, so auto washing is good design. They say to uh, to raising to raising the efficiency uh, in the clinic. So, so next uh, uh, we put it uh, uh, onto the panel and insert the tubing and uh, let the left panel into it. Yeah, we put it here. Yeah. And uh, th this is uh, the new one, the full one. Next uh, is the power connection. So after we check the, we finish the installation of the uh, washing solution, we come back to connecting the power connection. Power connection is uh, the cable is the, s the port is here, right? And also we have the the communication port that is RS two three two serial port yeah, to the to the PC, and uh, this is the power input. Connect the analyzer to the machine and remember uh, it should be well grounded. So we also have to check <laughs> we also have to check the grounding voltage less than five, right? UPS is recommended. Connect the analyzer main unit to PC by IS232 uh, uh, serial cable. Yeah. Okay. Next uh, is the tube connection. Tube connection here you can see the uh, very clear one two three four five six three are uh, tube three for tube and the other three for what for sensor detector. for detector you know you can say detector so this one is for the uh, uh, pure water right or the or the ionizing water distilled water. water distilled water and uh, in the middle that is for waste. Uh, the, in the left is also another waste. waste. Another waste. Yeah. Mm. Uh, do you know why we have two cans of waste? Do you know why? One is for most station waste, and it means pure waste. Mm -hmm. And another is uh, the uh, human mixing or uh, washing machine. Very good answer. But why we have to separate them? Both of them are waste. Why why don't we separate them? Why why don't why don't you make two in one? Less dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one more reason. Maybe some some country they have the law. <laughs> they have the law to control this because uh, uh, different waste should be well treated. Uh, they have requirement for 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 different kinds of waste. And the cost is different, so l that's why we separate them. Yeah. So remember, uh, so you so you know this is um, it depends. If they some company they they are saying, uh, the, you due to the due to the cost of uh, of legitimate for the wastewater, and uh, they separate them. Yeah. So here you know we have you can you now now that means you can have two cans of water to collect in the two two cans of wastewater. Continue. Tubing connection. I'm. Um, I think it's very easy for you, right? Uh, so, so we skip here. Just uh, use the tube. Uh, don't worry. And uh, the size is different. So uh, I'm sure you will not mix the connected here. Okay. It's very easy for tubing connection.
and the uh, software installation uh, okay uh, before software installation please check and do turn off the windows firewall turn off it yeah why because uh, the software will stop this uh, this software L I mean the uh, the windows system will stop this software so we must turn off it second exit quick or we say we, we, we are saying quick the uh, anti-wireless software otherwise the software in will be installed to failure yeah, and uh, you don't know what kind of problem is coming yeah. so third is found the box of the cellular uh, cellular uh, line yeah. found the box okay this one uh, this is the driver software disk and this is the cable uh, one side is USB 2.0, the other side is uh, RS232 connector from machine, and this is to PC. And uh, here, this is the software. Yeah. Pardon? So in that case, yeah, and I understand. Some some PC have this uh, connector, but we don't have cable. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Remember, we don't have cable. Here we already give. Here we already given. Uh, uh, the yeah, a cable here. So, so please, we we suggest this one. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, this is the steps of how to install the software. Uh, the software. Insert a PC disk, uh, and uh, you will get this setup. Okay. Remember, and uh, plug in and open a dialog, and uh, put this. Type in this, okay. Type in this, and uh, click OK. Next, uh, click OK. Uh, we will open a device management. Click the port, com, com and ARPC. Then view the current system uh, available. That means the, this is not a li no question mark. Remember, there's no question mark here. If there if there comes the question mark, that means the driver program it is not working yeah. yeah maybe the connection or maybe something yeah but then should it be something wrong or maybe there's something wrong of this machine okay so in then next uh, insert the software disk uh, to the PC uh, and click the all the files to your hardware mm, this one okay and uh, double click the exe program to start the installation Click yes to continue. Continue, yes, continue. and uh, select the language. Language, English, okay, and the Chinese. So only two languages. And uh, choose the collect collect version according to the machine. If have water wash or not. Remember, this is very important. If there is there is a water wash function. That is because that is a w optional function, so we have to use the the upper one. Yes, if the if we don't we, we there's no, there isn't any auto wash function, we select the second. Yeah. So remember, remember this. Yeah. Then click next. Click next to continue, and this is here, and I click next. Yeah. Uh, choose a folder to install a program. Click next to continue and I suggest using a default folder yeah, default folder do not install it in C disk yeah do you know why mm -hmm, yeah sometimes the, the PC will be you know, uh, you re re installed the uh, program, right? Windows program. Eh? Yes. 
let's see all the data in C disk will be gone. Yeah? Yeah. So must be D or E if you have E, maybe F. Yeah. So click install to start the installation. Yeah. So select it one by one. Yeah. And uh, click finish to complete the installation. It's good. And uh, to guarantee the software can be completed soon, we also have to change the screen, the resolution of display, yeah. and make it uh, equal or higher than 1280 times 768. Yeah. If the display res resolution is it's small. What will happen? Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what will happen? Sole. Yes. Some icons will not uh, will be hidden. Some some icons will be hidden. Maybe this one will close this button. Yeah. Uh, this uh, key. Yeah. Uh, you can see this. You can see like this. This is something wrong. You can see closed, closed. Some mm, some icon closed, closed, and uh, you, we cannot click. Uh, yeah. So this because the display is not good. Right. And uh, this is the display part. Y you know now you can see separate. Yeah, separate. And this is the account and it's turn off. Mm. Double click the new created short icon on the PC de desktop. So now how to log in? Uh, we click the icon right on the desk desktop. Double click and then okay there comes the password name and the password. It is the name and the password. And the startup procedure. Select the module and uh, click save. The program will restart. And uh, remember uh, the system module. If less ISE comes, we select ISE. If the list module, you are, we click list module. If barcode module, we have to click touch screen. We have to click touch screen. Because some hospital they are using the laptop with touch screen. So we must uh, select this one. Otherwise, they, they can only use the mouse. Still can only use the mouse. Cannot use touch screen. Yeah. And uh, analyze the module. Analyze the module. So uh, skip. Yeah, skip. And the uh, language is English. So generally, uh, we use this one and this one. Yeah. Please keep default setting and uh, conduct us. Okay. Mm. And the software uh, configuration. Yeah. This is software configuration. So especially the first time we are going to log in, right? We have to switch on the main power, and analyze the and also turn on the analyzer unit power at the right side. There are two switch. Remember, one is the main main power. Main power is controlling. Controlling the cooling system, can controlling the refrig the cooling system. system yeah. yeah, and uh, the right side is switch on. This is this, this is the switch on. Yeah. Mm. And run the software in the lock in the window and the input the password to log in. Yeah. Remember, only choose the startup initiation and reset progress. Only choose this one. Do not choose the second and the third. Remember, remember. Yeah. Then click lock. Do you know the password? Admin and one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, setting. Okay. Then the liquid uh, perfusion. So now uh, we go to system maintenance and uh, choosing the low team maintenance so we come back to the mode uh, and uh, select the command liquid perfusion liquid perfusion means 
we 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 have to feed in the some fluid. We feed in the water into the machine, right? Yes. 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 So and the degassing and the degassing. So from list. So I uh, we go to the list daily command. Find the liquid perfusion here. And uh, click So waiting for a wire until water from the prop wash well. Yeah. Until it wash the well. The wash the prop interior and the mixed wash well can be seen. So if it's uh, washed very good you can see it's very good. Yeah. yeah. This is the water prop from wash well. This is the well, wash well. Mm, wash well. And the water from the washing needle. This is the washing station, right? So this is the needle for washing. So you actually you will see the water coming. Yeah, you will see the water coming. Next, uh, if there is no liquid out from the inner side of the sample prop, let's 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 not good. So we have to check. Well, the Iwaki pump on the left side can pump water. If cannot, uh, maybe the membrane of the pump sticky together. So in this situation, it is a normal situation, and we will work again after we use the injector uh, to push some water uh, to push the pump. We put some water into the uh, Iwaki pump. Okay. Why this happen? Because that pump is not using for a long time. The membrane is very dry, very dry and sticky together. So this this pump is similar like our liquid pump in DMI's uh, machine. We sometimes we also have to use the water, uh, but this is uh, purified water and uh, push it. Okay. And uh, liquid perfusion. This is a liquid perfusion. Uh, for this purpose, we have to uh, we have to cut the list uh, tie and remove <laughs> some noisy from your side. <laughs> uh, okay, continue. So cut the cable tie and connect the syringe to the pump. Here, connect it like this. And uh, draw, draw water, draw water from the pump until you see the water come out from here. Pour, okay. remember who pour. Okay. After that, connect the tube back again and tie the tube with cable tie. After that, remove that syringe and the tube and connect it back. And uh, liquid perfusion, remove bubble. So we also, because this is our first installation, right? So there are some bubble inside the machine. So what to do? Open the analyzer, left the door, pull out the tube number four, t number 24, from the left tube and the connector of the degassing unit. Remove it. Then once you see the water come out from the tube connector, if there is water coming, uh, we that means it's, it's, it's good. The pumping, the degassing is good. Okay. So once the water is coming out, immediately we connect it back. Any question? Yeah, any question? Oh, okay. Uh, you, do you have any experience of this liquid perfusion? Yes, I feel it good. Uh, many times? Many times? How many cans of installation you you have done? Many installations. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, next, uh, so you see the water is coming out, so we have to wipe and dry uh, here, and the uh, overflow water inside and around the gas unit, dry, dry, clean, cleaning, yeah, make it dry. Uh, next, uh, remove the air bubble by knocking the side uh, wall or body of the syringe module with a rubber hammer. Remember, rubber, 
rubber hammer. Okay. Confirm no barber left inside the syringe. We, we can see the syringe, so we we knock it. We knock it. During this process, we knock it. Yeah. Mm. But this hammer should be is not uh, provided by us. Uh, maybe they have to buy a um, hammer locally. Okay. Then select the command, close the pump and the valve from the list on the left side and click send. After that, select the uh, close the pump and the valve and the send. Uh, next uh, is the exit the software and the turn off the power. Then restart the analyzer. Log in the software and it is ready to test. Yeah. So liquid the perfusion down. Then restart the machine. Okay. But Okay, so this time run the software, right? And log in again. Input the user and the password and click start start up. This time we have to click start up. Yeah. Initiation process. Wait for 50 minutes, then click on the temperature icon. Wait. Waiting for the temperature. Go to the 37 degree. Okay, make it a stable. Then take out one of the keyboard set and uh, touch the button of the reaction disk with your finger. It uh, will be warm but uh, not hot. So we have to check the temperature. If inside is warm. But uh, before check the temperature we have to remo remove the keyboard and uh, touch touch it. Yeah. Make the then double confirm the sensor is good, the warm system is good for that purpose. And uh, next uh, is the uh, check the reagent disk uh, refrigerator. Uh, pull out a jar of balls and uh, temperature control board. Display the real time temperature of the uh, reagent disk. Proper temperature value is around 4 to 12 degree. This one. Mm. Take out the reagent sample J and uh, touch the pilot. Uh, touch the pattern area uh, with your finger. It must be cool. Touch here. Touch here. Should it be cool. Do you know why there are some some hole at the bottom? Do you know what's that? What's this? Where's the water from where? If if the temperature is not four to twelve, we need to do some calibration and adjustment from here. Yeah, from here. So next is the AD data check. Now we are not going. Now we are not doing some test, right? But we can do some. Uh, we can do some data check. Yeah. So how to do that? After the startup procedure finish. We go to the program installation pass. Open the file folder D uh, auto client and the data. Open the file named water blank ad water dot dat with uh, notepad. Check the, the record ad value of each qubit. All the values should be within the range from three thirty thousand to sixty five five hundred. Certified. Yeah, this is the value you, you can see here. Check check all of them. Uh, check the, this is the value of the blank water blank ad yeah. value. Okay. Yeah. Mm. If you found some value out of this range, something wrong. Mm. Something wrong. And the installation. If all about checking are normal, now you now can start to program reagent parameter and prepare the reagent to test. Yeah, for the undergoing by the reagent manual. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So, do you have any question?
Nicolas Bat.